Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Benfeto. Or, for the English translation, well done. Well done. Sounds more exotic in Portuguese though, doesn't it? Lol. This was developed by OIKB, published by Cubite Interactive, and is available to you for £12.49 slash $14.99. So we play as a little and what seems like an extremely happy smiley boy called Reginaldo, who we have to take care of tasks around his little home on planet B613. You'll get to meet weird new creature type things, but it gets a little more deeper and darker as we go through, as you will see. So as for achievements and trophies, there's basically two endings, uh, two endings to do. So the first playthrough takes just a few minutes to complete, but the other ending involves doing all small tasks and the achievements and trophies will mostly unlock through doing all of those. So all in all, you're looking at only around 30 to 35 to 40 minutes to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. So what we're going to do then is click on Garotron, the emulation app just over on the right hand side there. And then we will be able to begin. Diddle 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 diddle. Wee! Etc. Etc. So, uh, yeah, we will just um, <laughs> well, let's new game it up. So, for the first playthrough, what we're going to do is none of the tasks at all. This bit's all automatic. Basically, every day he'll wake up, sort of shuffle his way over to the fridge, and then you can have a look at the tasks. Uh, you can just press the right trigger here to get off of this because uh, we're not going to do any chores. What we're going to do is go straight back to bed, press the B button in order to interact, and then the, go up to yep, I'm all done for today. Press the B button. That's what you're going to be doing for the majority. It's not the A button slash cross button on PlayStation to interact with stuff. It is the B button or circle button. So we're just going to do this for the entirety of the seven days then. So we're just going to wake up, go to the fridge, press the right trigger in order to go. Bye bye. No choice for me today, sir. Go straight back to bed. Yep, I'm all done today. And again, <clears throat> so, uh, excuse me. We are just going to continue this for... Well, basically, until the seven days are up. There is going to be a little bit of an edit after this one. There you go. Um, so I've just gone straight, basically, to day six. So, obviously, you're probably going to pause the video and then just carry on until we get to day seven. So, we slowly walk towards the fridge and BAM! No, nothing happens, sorry. Um, so there's going to be little bits of dialogue in this game as, uh, as well. Again, we'll just smash through that with the B button. Today's the day off. Hashtag Catterday. Yeah, girl. Um, so, yep. Anytime you see a bit of dialogue, we can just smash through it with the B button. And then basically what we're going to do is just head down and we're going to speak to all of our friends one by one. Right after we interact with the mailbox first. So yeah, with this is basically the new bunch of Pokemon that's going to appear in the next game. Um, a floppy disk, a big nose, this apple head thing, and a cat. Yeah. And a big flame ball. So, yep, just go ahead, speak to every single character, including the cat. So, speak to Cherry on top, Geodude looking thing, uh, Graveler looking thing. Just speak to everyone uh, all at once, and it's basically going to end the first playthrough. There we go, job done, game over, thanks for watching y'all, 
Goodbye, y'all, y'all. No, I'm just joking. So we basically go back to the beginning. We're going to go back to the Garotron emulator again, there on the right. And then this time, what we're going to do, you're going to press the, keep pressing the A button, and there's going to be bits of dialogue. So basically, you're going to press the A button in order to reset it every time. And just keep doing this until every character has disappeared. Bye-bye! And now, we're all alone. There's no one here beside me. Uh, let's click yes. Let us restart the game in order to get some people here beside me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so first day, we are, of course, going to be doing tasks. Now, obviously, remember, it's the B button slash circle button in order to pick up things. And we can put things away by pressing the X button. So first of all, pick up the broom. Go to each of these big, massive, clumpy, dust bunny looking dust bunnies. You'll automatically just get rid of them. And for the final one, there we go. So, again, you can't carry everything sort of all at once. So whenever you're done with something, again, press the X button or square button on the PlayStation in order to uh, pop it down. Now my hands are free. So pick up the trash bag, or the rubbish bag, the bin bag, whichever bag you decide to call it. Head outside. Go to the right. Eventually. Walk, boy! So yep, go down, go to the right. It's basically where the cat was. And stick that one in there. Hooray! Look at us go. He's a happy, smelly boy. Right, so next up then, what we're going to do is go to the back, towards the back, just next to the house there is a wooden box. We're going to be picking up the watering can. So there's like an axe, there's a hammer, there's a shovel, and the watering pot. So the watering pot is what we need. So pick that up, again with the B button. We're going to head all the way to the left until we can see the pond, or the lake, or the river, or whatever. Again, B button in order to fill it up. Look how happy he is. I like, I'm on a planet by my I think a lot of us would like that. Really? Uh, so once you've filled up the water, go to these four plants right here. They're like basically like bell pepper plants. So just stick your water in all four of them. So, X button to pop it away, and then what we're going to do is mow the grass. So, go to the left, up, it's basically top left corner. So, again, press B button to interact with it, as you'll know by now. And then just go ahead and smash out all the pieces of grass, all the grassy ices, on this side and over the right-hand side as well. By the way, I, you know that... You know the Professor Farnsworth meme from Futurama? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I think this is the perfect uh, sort of planet to do it. Earth, you can screw off. I'm going to planet B613. So what we're going to do is head to the left now anyway. Go down the well. Have to go where the little arrow is. And then what we're going to do when we get down here, we're going to go into a right side room. It's kind of dark to see, so just... Um, yep, yeah, there it is on the right-hand side. A little bit of a... Uh, now, if anybody can translate that for me, that'd be fantastic. I assume it's nothing good since holes just appeared in his eyes with blood dripping out of him. So, uh, well, let's get back up anyway. So, back up to the well. And there we go then. As you'll see, I finished all my chores. So, yeah, not bad. Nice. Nice and easy. It's a... Uh... It's a simple life, but it's honest work. So there we go. We can head straight into the house, into the bed. Yep, I'm all done for today. And then welcome to day two. <laughs> Sorry, I tried making it spooky and stuff. Yeah, never mind. Huh? 
So then, this is where the fun stuff is going to start beginning. We're going to see some more characters. So what we'll do is head outside. Oh, the doorbell. That sounds more like a weird phone. I don't want company, thanks. Get the hell off my property. Damn kids skateboarding on sidewalk. Uh, sorry, just sound like an old man now. So back into the toy box. We're going to go ahead and grab the watering pot again. And then again, you're going to go all the way to the left. Fill it up with the water. Water. And this time you're going to interact with the flowers, not the bell peppers, which we've already done, but just underneath us will be the flowers. So there'll be four once again that we need to do. Now to get a few more achievements cracking, so what we're going to do is go to the apples on the floor on the right hand side by the tree, press the B button, interact with it next to one of the apples and you will get the first achievement there for it, ABCs. Then we can just go up again, make sure to get your hands freer than a bird. Uh, so that's for trying to pick up an apple without a basket. So now we'll go in to the toy box, like I said, and this time we will grab the shovel. And no, we're not going to try and hit a flame over the head with a shovel. We're actually going to go to one of these bell peppers, press the B button on one or two of them, and the next achievement will unlock for the shovel not doing anything. And as, you, as you'll as you be able to see, the shovel. Yes, there it is. So, interacting with the mailbox here, and you will get... It would be so nice if they stayed here with me forever! With Reginald, the smiley boy, being... I don't know. Is that a de depression smile? I don't know. Either way, now we are going to talk to, well, get rid of your shovel, and we are going to speak to El Flamo. Now again, you can smash through the dialogue, but just be aware, so every time they are going to ask for something, oh, <laughs> well, nice ball chins, bruh. So every time they're going to ask, we're obviously both basically just going to say yes, um, so just be careful when you're smashing through the dialogue that you don't accidentally say no. So here it is then, coming out. Um, so again, it, it's so easy to just keep pressing the B button so you can say no. But we're going to say yes, and then what we're going to do is head up towards the water. And the smiley... The, basically, the smiley... Ha interact with the water. And the smiley happy boy that you think, oh, he's just happy. It kind of looks more psychopathic now. God damn! So it's just a little blood spot now. So basically, this face is going to be in the next Squid Games. Um, that little happy boy who is uh, kind of a psycho near. Right, so let's head to the right after we've just killed the flame in water, pick up the basket, then go ahead and pick up every one of the apples. Commit murder, pick up some apples. Yeah, why not? That's, uh, that's the true act of a psychopath. <laughs> So once you've picked up the apples, we're going to go to the left. We're going to pick the bell peppers now. So all four of these plants, uh, just obviously interact with each of them. Right, okay, so let's take a look at the chores we've done. Pick the apples, pick the peppers, um, murdered the flame, and uh, other stuff, right? Happy days, yep, there we go. We'll just take a nap and get ready for more murderous things tomorrow. Goodbye. So 
So, welcome to day three. We're going to get some secret sauce. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. That's what I thought too, but it's not. So pick up the bucket there from uh, next to the toy box. We're going to head down the well. And basically, it's going to be a big pool where we're going to get some... Um, well, I, I, I probably wouldn't call it water. I'd probably call it something else. Now, my bucket is full, but for some reason, because there's no noise to indicate that... I decided to, um, yeah, keep going. So just go underneath. Uh, as soon as you see that the bucket is full, which it should be once you interact with it. And, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely more red than uh, normal watercolour, which is obviously blue. So this is where the secret Big Mac sauce comes from. So the next time you have your, your delicious secret sauce in your next Big Mac from McDonald's, just be aware where they got it from. They're penises. Uh, right, so... Continuing on, and we're just going to go up to the right, back into the toy box. I'm so sorry. No, your Big Mac sauce does not come from a man himself. Grab the fishing rod, and obviously go to the left, and do some fishing in the Pond Lake River. So next up, after we have done this, we're going to put the fishing rod away. We're going to go to the right to pick up the basket next to the tree and then use it to pick up the fish. And then it somehow automatically goes to the kitchen. So then we can head down to the middle and interact with the mailbox again. And then we're going to sp speak to nobody knows the noses I've nosed. Nobody knows my nose bowl. And then, of course, wh whatever he asks for, we're going to say yes. Ah, ah, look at this guy. Hey, nice knees, booby knees. So you got feet, you got boob knees, and then you've got a big nose for a head. That's a hell of a design. Ah, boobies, boob knees. <laughs> ah, sorry. So if you want to make, make a friend and somebody smiles like this at you, it's a good idea to probably just walk the other way, okay? So if anyone smiles this big, don't do it. So uh, what we're going to do then, we are going to feed the nose, or the boob knees, nose, knees, nose. Head to the stove, whatever, you the cooker, the whatever you want to call it, the back. And then we're just going to interact with each ingredient once. So the apple, the pepper, and the fish. And the secret Big Mac white, white, delicious, not delicious sauce. Give it to the nose, and then you've basically just killed off a nose with um, some blood. Oh, yeah.
Again, if you've got to ask if a stranger giving you food is poisoned, probably not an idea to eat it. Again, just little bits of life advice I'm giving you here. Um, yeah. Anyone smiles like this and offers you food, probably best not to take it. So, let's go on to Day Le Foir. So, first things first then, we have to clear those stinky dishes. So, go ahead and interact with the dishes there, right next to the fridge. That'll be the first task done, Noi. So, what we're going to do then, from here, we're going to go straight to the mailbox and basically read a letter that our old nose friend just sent us, even though we just killed him off. Weird. <laughs> so, next in the ground, we are going to speak to the floppy disk, and again, Whatever way that, uh, whatever he asks for, we remember, we're going to say yes. Now, kids, a floppy disk, this is basically what old people used to use on the old Windows computers. Now, you're probably used to computers sounding nice and silent these days, but uh, computers back in the day, especially the uh, one for Windows 98, wow, nice, uh, <laughs> well, nice um, set of giny balls there on the floppy disk. But yes, back in the days, um, computers used to sound like it was a rocket ship taking off. Oh, how far we've come. So now we're going to head back into the house, and this is, um, well, the first two have been quite mild compared to this one. This is a, a hell of a death, shall we say, <laughs> for this one. So you're going to interact with the console here at the back of your room. And, uh, yeah, you think that's all good? Oh, no, it's about to get a whole lot <laughs> bloodier and weirder. Um, so now <laughs> we can just smash through the dialogue for a minute. So, we're heading outside, we're going to go to the right and go back into the toy box where we are going to grab the um, watering pot. I was going to say the fishing rod, but it is the watering pot. Go to the left and get some more water, of course. Uh, now, again, some more real-life advice for you here. If a talking floppy disk comes up to your house or comes into your room or whatever, starts talking to you and wants to interact with the console, you are probably tripping major nutsack right now. So, um... I would, whatever, you, whatever you're hitting, I'd get off that. So put the water straight onto the console, and you're basically gonna, yeah, your screen's gonna turn red, full of blood. Oh damn, it's a lot of blood. So there's a lot of blood. I also kind of like that every murder he commits, he just, Turns around with his eyes gouged out and smiles. Yeah, it's uh, it's croppy, but <laughs> well, let's just carry on, shall we? So nip to bed. That's all we're doing. So no task for today. Just a, just a little bit of murder, and then onwards we go. Only a little bit. So yeah, obviously the more tasks you do every day, you'll get achievements um, unlocking for those. So we're going to sweep up the house, uh, just like we've done on the first day, and then take out the trash.
So if you remember where the trash ba big bag big ba bin is, it's down to the right. Here we go. For some reason I can't say trash bin. Rubbish bin. Big bin. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that one is done. So now what we need to do is we're going to head uh, to the mailbox. So interact with the mailbox here. We're going to get another little letter from the old, from our old friend. The dude who is now covered in blood in our TV. And then once this is done, we are going to speak to... Uh, apparently this is a cake, which I didn't realise. But uh, yes, this is the, the cake. Hmm. So again, whatever he asks for, just click yes. I mean, I know we'd love to get off the Earth, but imagine you being arrested on another planet because you will go around eating walking cakes. It's uh, it's just too too tempting. Too tempting. Right, so go back to the toy box. To the right of the house, and we're going to pick up the axe this time. Now, you can see why a cake would get, would a big cake would get nervous with a giant axe swinging around. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> so someone may get hurt, i.e. you. So we're going to head to the left first, past the pond, and you're going to see a lone tree. So we're going to interact with that tree and chop up some wood, and you know what's going to happen. Then we're going to go straight to the cake, and slice him in half. Yes, indeedy. And you think, oh, well, at least you get some squishy cake deliciousness in the middle. Oh, no, you get blood, guts, and everything. So, um, yeah, well... If you don't like cake, you're probably not going to like cake much more. And if you do like cake, well, well, it's not putting me off my cake personally. So that's the chores done, another murder committed, bit of chopped wood. Let's head to bed with our bloody screen still bloody. Why are you shouting at me, you bloody, 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 bust, bloody, bloody. If you know, you know. If you know the video, you'll know. Quite a hilarious popular one. Right, let's get on to day six tasks, the final day of Tascaronis. So, let's get the hell outside. Is there a doorbell? No, this time. So, what we'll do is go straight to the mailbox, interact with that. So I thought Clarice was going to say thank you. I actually taste better than I thought. Anyway, go to the dumpster. Oh, dumpster. And then we're just going to keep interacting with the cat until the achievement unlocks. So just keep interacting. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm glad. Everyone else knows what we've done too. Right, so anyway, once you've got that achievement, we can head to the toy box. We're going to grab the hammer this time. Uh, you'll get that automatically anyway, and then head all the way to the left and interact with the wood that we chopped earlier on. So after we get this one then, wood's all done, we're going to head all the way to the right, up the steps, and we're going to fix the roof. Sorry bloody guy, we, uh, we, we just left you there, rotting. And for one final act of total psychopathy, psychopathy, psychoness, we're going to head to the dumpster and interact with the cat, and we're basically going to just go ahead and bludgeon the cat. That's 
not what everyone wants to hear. And that's extra psychotic there. Uh, so once you have done that, we can now head back to the house with blood on our face, with the still psych psychopathic smile, head to the sink in order to wash yourself off, and then some... Ah! We have no eyes! I am eyeless! Anyway, interacting with the fridge again, I'm going to be like, Oh my god, my eyeballs! Oh my god, my mouth! What the hell is that? I'm spewing blood! Blood! But this is now basically the end of the game, so we're going to interact with the bed. And, uh, oh god, man, we got a face back. Although I don't think you deserve your face back. You know what? I'm not a big cat lover, but you can't go around being nasty to animals. They're all cute and stiff. So, heading outside, the door will disappear, the house will disappear, a whole bunch of achievements will appear, and then we're effectively good to the golden. And apparently we're having an epileptic seizure as well. <laughs> the cat cake thing just tried to scare you. Anyway, interact with the mailbox for the final time, and that will be all achievements done. So I will just leave it here then. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed this <laughs> kind of weird, but still very interesting game. Hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Mm -hmm. Big love.